So Adara has a major advantage when it comes to the U.S. market that a lot of holders do not know about. I'm talking about credit unions. Now, yeah, that may not seem like the biggest thing here. We're not talking about correspondent banking. Not yet. You have to understand that credit unions play a very crucial role in the economy in the United States. And also, how many times have you driven past a credit union and just not even noticed it? Well, now Hedera's technology could be making its way to your local credit union. Follow me. We're going to break down this story. It's Bank Social launching an open banking platform thanks to investment from the Hashgraph Association. Let's dive right into it. Financial today announced investment and strategic relationship with the Hashgraph Association to support the bank social suite of open banking products for credit unions. The rollout of the bank social open banking platform is strategically scheduled to align with the evolving needs of credit unions. The next phase focusing on core identity and payment solutions is slated for Q1 of 2024 with subsequent features rolling out in phases to ensure seamless integration and adoption. Now, what's so interesting about this is the entrance of credit unions in crypto in recent years. As a matter of fact, go back to December of 2021, the NCUA, which is the national governing body for all credit unions, they pretty much gave the go ahead for credit unions in the US to make use of DLT services. Then they followed this up a few months later in May of 2022 with another letter stating that, yes, you should focus on DLT. It's kind of important. So as I was seeing these stories kind of Go under the radar because keep in mind, this was in the depths of a bear market. Nobody is thinking about credit unions or they weren't even thinking about banks because they were collapsing at this point. So it was a lot of negative energy. However, the utility projects were still building. Hedera was still building. As a matter of fact, there's a platform called CU Ledger that originally in 2018 started working with Hedera Hashgraph to offer services to credit unions to make use of Hedera. That's another reason I love talking about Hedera because when it comes to it, it's all about the applications. All right. Yes, we can talk all day about tokenomics and the foundation and what they do with the tokens and all of that. Look, pay attention to what's being built. Watch what they're doing. That's our job here as investors is to watch what's being done, what applications, what value is hitting the real world through this chain. And Hedero, when it comes to that, is definitely one of the greatest. Now, I want to share with you a quote here from that letter. The first one in 2021 states the NCUA is now clarifying that the NCUA does not prohibit federally insured credit unions from partnering with third party providers of digital asset services that leverage evolving technologies. This includes facilitating member relationships with third parties that allow FICU members to buy, sell and hold various uninsured digital assets with third party providers outside of the FICU. So, the National Governing Body for Credit Unions has given all credit unions in the nation the permission to engage with digital assets, to buy, sell, and hold digital assets. And to my knowledge, the only chain focusing on that market seems to be Hedera Hashgraph. Now, I could, of course, do the digging and maybe find other connections, but as I was putting the information for this video together, I'm using search terms like credit unions and crypto and really the only thing that was popping up was Hedera and most notably that relationship with CU Ledger. Now this opens up so many different things before we get to what some of those things are let's finish out the article here because we have a quote from Kamal Yousefi president of the Hashgraph Association. He says that this product will deliver the best of Hedera to credit unions and the Hashgraph Association provides financing and investment in solutions that will leverage Hedera's DLT technology. Now, something interesting that I found, right? And this is more local. I'm talking to my local audience here, the Michiganders. So 
guess what, guys? Frankenmuth, okay? <laughs> so, the credit union out in Frankenmuth this year launched crypto-related services. All right, now, for those who are listening and watching and you're not in Michigan and you're like, what the heck is this dude talking about? Look, for one, Frankenmuth has a beautiful uh, Christmas village that even even if you don't like rock with Christmas or any of that mainstream stuff, just take your kids there because it's a beautiful experience. Second, they're the first credit union in Michigan to pull this off. So that's very interesting. And if you know a thing or two, Frankenmuth is located in a very high income per capita part of the state. So it's a lot of money coming in. And this quote here I found to be very interesting from the CEO, Josh Herman. Right. Let me uh, slide back over here because he mentions how he mentions that Coinbase put out the statistic that 52 million Americans have some form of digital asset. And based on Frankenmuth credit unions outflows, they know that members have money going off to third party groups like Robinhood, Coinbase and other platforms so this means that they have a registry of information that tells them where customers funds typically end up which makes sense if their customers are connecting their accounts you know from you know only through digital means i know my credit union is aware of you know several purchases through uphold so it's a combination of factors here the credit unions are actually going to be what's going to usher in the retail surge the consumer surge more specifically all right everyday people right and something else i found just a couple of other players in the space at tana credit union they provide custody services uh crypto custody services for credit unions and one of their partners is actually circle and there's another credit union out in Oklahoma that's getting ready to launch crypto related services. So there's some traction definitely flowing. Now, let's bring it back to Be Social and Financial and Hedera. And let's go over to their website because I want to show you some of the uh, working associations here. So listed under core integrations, we have FIS, Fizerve, Finastra, and Timinos. Now we know Timinos played a very important role in connecting non-financial, non-bank financial institutions to the Fed now participants. So when I saw this situation here, you also it, it it brought to mind the fact that Drop is another platform running on Hedera that is now listed under the Fed now service provider showcase. So somehow this platform, Bank Social has snuck its way in the middle in between both of these and it also just brings more validity to Hedera's hash graph when it comes to their connections to fed now again it all boils down to that non-bank rule banks that are working on fed now do have the ability to contract out services to non-bank financial entities to enhance their development because the overall goal you have to keep this in mind is to reduce the cost of cross-border payments it's to make the transition from fiat to digital and all of these different arms of the you know octopus here have to work together right and hedera is definitely involved with making those pieces fit now if we go down to the digital banking integrations you'll see fizzerve again and you'll see fis again but in the description they mention service now which is another hedera partner so this is just bolstering the strength the connectivity of hedera's applications i like the fact that they often work with uh partners of partners if you understand what i'm saying so that really keeps the synergy within the ecosystem all right and again on this channel guys we're focusing on the fundamentals here there are many channels you can go and they can tell you what they think the price is going to do in the next 24 hours but if you're investing in these assets for the long term you want to know what they're doing on a daily that's what i provide for you on this on this channel so keep that in mind now let's look at q ledger 
for a second here because something unique popped up to me. And um, yeah, I really want to get your guys' take on this. So, CU Ledger, this is May 1st, 2018. CU Ledger selects Adara Hashgraph to build global ledger for cross border uh, payments. Collaboration follows on the heels of successful private private ledger use of swirls hash graph within the united states so this credit union service was specifically using swirls prior to moving over to hedera hash graph again that's why i call hedera america's dlt all their work their their foundational work is taking place here but they state see you later and hedera announced a partnership whereby CU Ledger will use Hedera's Hashgraph's platform and public ledger to build a system for cross-border payments. All right. CU Ledger has already been using the private ledger version of Hashgraph offered by Swirls for general purpose permission ledger use. The Hashgraph platform will be used in conjunction with the MyCUID project, which is a new consumer-focused global identity solution to build a comprehensive system for identity and global payments. Now, I'll leave a link to this article if you want to dive into the rest of it. It talks about a lot of agendas and narratives that have kind of gone under the radar since then. But we do know that the digital identity narrative is alive and well. All right. So this was kind of a shock to me, but it would all make sense because something else that you have to consider when talking about credit unions and consumers, credit unions are often placed in low to medium income levels, low to medium income levels. So that means that Honestly, it syncs up with a lot of people who already invest and hold crypto, because when you look at the statistics of crypto holders, especially in the United States, the there's a large majority of them that fit in between that fit in that middle range category. All right. So this is an interesting setup, but that's the news. That's all I have on it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You excited about this? Let me know. Uh, I am because it falls into the two narratives that I have been looking into that I will be following for Hedera, and that's stable coins and micro payments. And with recent regulation centered around stable coins for that fact, and you know, Hedera now has that stable coin studio where financial institutions and now maybe credit unions can create manage and issue their own stable coins well oh that's quite the catalyst but again that's all i got let me know what you think down in the comments my name is wade have a great day have a prosperous day and always remember if that money is digital so is the hustle i'll see you in the next one